Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 30th of 2021. Well, it is titled the hydrogen clouds of M33. So what do we see here? Well, this is a galaxy known as M33 or the Triangulum Galaxy. And it is actually one of those galaxies in our local group of galaxies that are the nearest galaxies and actually the nearest cluster of galaxies that we have that we see to us. And that includes our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy as the two largest spiral galaxies and then M33 as a little bit smaller galaxy, uh, but also again a spiral galaxy. So our cluster of galaxies is dominated by spiral galaxies and we see a lot of them here. And spiral galaxies are known for star formation and uh, molecular clouds within them. And what we're looking at here are some of those hydrogen clouds, which are actually star forming regions. And we see them in the pink in the large image here. And if you see they're numbered, so there is a number there starting with number one just to the top of center and then winding around through the galaxy. And these are all great star forming regions. You can see those numbers actually correspond to the smaller images along the side, which are more detailed images of each of these individual star forming regions. Now the star forming regions uh, look like this because of hydrogen gas. So we call them hydrogen clouds. What happens is the hydrogen around a of stars that have formed will then that hydrogen gets excited. Those stars, young stars, hot stars produce ultraviolet radiation. And that ultraviolet radiation will ionize the hydrogen and strip electrons off of it. And once it does that, then the electrons recombine. And as they do, they give off specific wavelengths of light, including a specific wavelength of hydrogen. And they since hydrogen is the most prominent gas in the universe, the most common gas, it tends ends up being very easy to see. So this image was taken with a couple of actually a couple of different images, one looking at what we call a broadband looking at the entire spectrum and taking the image of the galaxy and the other focusing just on that very specific wavelength of hydrogen emission. So we call H alpha and look specifically at that so we can see highlight the uh, star forming regions. Now these star forming regions are very large and much larger than for example the Orion region that we look at in our galaxy. Uh, many of these would dwarf the size of Orion. Orion is very prominent because it happens to be a star forming region close to us that is easy to study. But there are many star forming regions that are many times larger and producing a lot more stars. And we can see some of those here in M33 today. So that was our picture of the day for September 30th of 2021. It was titled the hydrogen clouds of M33. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.